Hey campers, Joe here. Today I'm going to unpackage the Wheeler's camping cook set. And uh, it looks, it's made out of stainless steel, really nice. Uh, we're going to open it up and take a look at what all's in here. But for quick starters, it's got a large pot, six quarts, medium pot, three and a half quarts, small pot, one and a half quarts, a strainer, and a frying pan. So Oh, let's uh, take it out of the package and see what we got. It's supposed to be eight piece set. I'm not sure if that includes the carrier or not, but we'll find out. And I do like it's got a really nice padded case. The only downside to that is I've got my, um, oh, I can't remember what my other. Uh, cook set is but anyway the carrier for it on the other one is all rubberized and I can use it as a wash basin which would have been nice if this was the same way so that I could wouldn't have to pack a separate wash basin but it's the way it is it is nice and padded I will note this is a pretty heavy unit it weighs in at about nine and a half pounds but you'll see why here because of the construction with the clad bottoms it's probably most best suited for someone like with an RV or camper. Um, definitely not going to be packing along on a backpack. But if you're looking for a really nice set, you're into cooking like I am at the campgrounds, you might really be interested in this. I'm pretty excited to get it. I used to use the uh, aluminum cook sets like you get from Stan Sport and all of those. But they're, you know, they're really thin. They're not very heavy, which is nice, but on the downside, those thin ones that the bot, they get dented and everything really easy, and then the um, the heat doesn't. It's it's got a lot of hot spots on those other thin aluminum ones. But let's see what we got here. I like this right here. It's got you know it's beautiful uh, finish on these, and, it, and this has a clad bottom. Most of the, I think most. Of the pieces in here have the clad bottom if you're not familiar with what clad is it's a there's a layer inside of this piece that it's usually aluminum or copper and then this has a stainless steel on the outside and then inside is the copper or aluminum that helps even out and spread the heat so you don't have such hot spots inside your pan on your uh, lighter weight uh, cook sets they're not going to have this the clad on them and so that's why you find when you're cooking with them you know they'll heat up really fast they'll have hot spots and they, they're going to dent easy on the bottoms so you know this is the glorious you know stuff for the for the camper so let's oh on the frying pan they make two models of this kit one has a teflon coated non-stick interior on the fry pan and then the other one does not I got the one that does not I almost I kind of went I was torn between one or the other but you know when you have the Teflon one then you want to make sure you're using plastic or wood um, utensils in here and so you don't scrape off the the coating and stuff um, but I, I decided just to go with the non stick the non Teflon coated ones. There's and, and it should also be noted it's about the same price for e either way. It's a hundred and about hundred and twenty one dollars for this cook set, which is pretty pricey, but you know, you get what you pay for, right? So right off the top came the, the pan. And then we've got a lid in here. That was another thing. When I re I've already had this out once and when I went to repack it I had a lot of trouble with it. I was a little disappointed in it in something that I'll, I'll show that talk about that later. So here's a lid that fits the fry pan and which you will also find out fits the large pot which is nice. Let's get this out. Pretty snug fit there. Okay, so we don't need this case anymore. So here's your big 
what was it, six quart? Yeah, six quart pot with a folding handle. So it's nice, it stays up by itself so you don't have to worry about it. keep flipping it down. You can keep it up like that so it doesn't get hot over a campfire. And then put it over. This has a clad bottom too. And then we've got this must be the three and a half quart with the lid. I had to turn it upside down. That was that was my complaint. I couldn't stack all this in there and put the lid onto the whole thing without it hitting. If it had only been like a half inch or not even that much, like a quarter inch, quarter to a half inch lower, it would have fit in here nicely with the big pot. And now you have to fight it and I found out the only way I could get it together was to put it upside down on there. And that means that it moves around on it. I didn't, I didn't care for that too well. And inside, of course, this, this pot has the same handle situation. And inside here is the one and a half quart. Now this one has a clad bottom as well. And instead of the handle that comes up, it has the swing out handles like this, which are okay. I don't mind that. And same thing here, a nice lid that fits on this one. And it also has a little uh, pour spout on it. That's pretty handy sometimes. I'm, I'm really impressed with the quality of the build. The only, my biggest complaint, like I said, was the trying to stack it all together. Then you've got your strainer pan. I like having this a lot. Oh, doggies are getting excited about something. No, sit. So, which does fit in here, which is nice. So I can eat, um, I could cook pasta in here. It would be nice and just pick it up and all drains right out. You could also put something there's room. It doesn't go up all the way. There's a, probably a, you know, over an inch difference there. So if you wanted to steam something, you could put something in the bottom here. You, you could even use rocks if you wanted to. Put a few rocks in the bottom, put your water in it, set this on top of there, and then put your lid on it, and you would be steaming some food. I know that's pretty popular anymore. And that's pretty much all we got in here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You count that again. It's two, four, six, eight pieces. And they did not count the case. Now to put it all back together, put this in there. It's also nice because I'll probably store other things inside here when I go when I start using it. I like to put like seasonings or whatever. You, at least you got more storage room inside here. So uh, I'll get this back together. And like I said, this can't go on there. And so this has to go, can't go on there. So you have to put this upside down as well. And then you can put this one on. So they're on upside down and, the, and they don't uh, lock in there. A little disappointing. But I love the, 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 the weight of the sidewalls is really quite good. It's supposed to be 304 stainless steel. I'm not really sure how good a steel that is, but we're gonna find out. The other thing about using a nice set like this is you're gonna want to be using this over a gas stove more than like more likely. Sure you can use it over a fire, but then you're gonna have, you know, if it's all about how pretty it is when you start getting all that black soot on there. If you're like me, you're not gonna like that too well. So I'm probably not gonna be using this on over a fire too much, but we'll see. I might do it one or two times just to see how badly 
it, it, they get blackened up and if it's really hard to clean or if it really matters. So now I got everything back packed in there. Put this on upside down and put it back in the case. Oh, I didn't tell you about some measurements. I know that's always important to me. The um, fry pan on the outer dimensions is right at, on the very outer edges is 10 inches. So inside right here is like nine and three eighths. This pot is uh, six inches tall. And 10 inches. 10, 10 and a half inches on the outer lip. Inside is nine and three eighths. Probably don't really need the dimensions of the other ones that I gave you in the quartz, but I know that those two figures are easy important to some people. Anyway, I hope that um, might answer any questions and I'll be using this uh, quite a bit later when I make more videos in the coming weeks and let you know more of a review about how it works out. But thanks a lot. I'll talk to you later.